Hi friends, this is your A Nurser. Today we learn how to convert an active sentence which is an imperative into passive. Today we learn how to convert an active sentence which is an imperative into passive. So first of all let us check how does an active sentence in interrogative look like. Carry it home. Carry it home. This is imperative sentence. This is an example for imperative. How to identify that? Imperative sentences start with V1 form of the verb. Imperative sentences start with V1 form of the verb. Carry it home. Open the door. Open the door. So here also your sentence started with V1 form of the verb. Open. Clear? Open the door. So this is also one example for imperative sentence. Next, throw the ball. Throw the ball. Here throw is also your V1 form of the verb. So now we understood how does an active sentence in imperative look like. Clear? So now let us try to convert this active sentence into passive. So we apply two structures. We apply two structures for this. First one, first structure in passive. First structure in passive. First structure will be will be let plus object plus b plus v3 form of the verb v3 form of the verb let me tell you once again the passive structure first type for imperatives will be like this let plus object plus b plus v3 form of the verb. So let us try to convert this carry to home into passive. So we have to start with what? Let. Let it. What is your object? It b what is v3 form for carry what is the v3 form for carry carry carried carried so carried let it be carried what let it be carried home let it carried home clear so now let us go for the second one. Open the door. Open the door. Let the door be opened. Let the door be opened. Next. Throw the ball. What is the next sentence? Throw the ball. Let the ball be throw 
थ्रू थ्रोन थ्रो थ्रू थ्रोन टी एच आर ओ डब्ल्यू एन क्लियर सो नेट एस शेक हाउ ए नेगेटिव सेंटेंस कैन बी चेंज्ड इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर डू नॉट कैरी इट होम डू नॉट carry it home suppose a negative sentence is given like this suppose a negative sentence is given like this so how this should be changed to passive how this should be changed to passive same thing the structure will be let plus subject uh, plus your object plus you are not plus b plus v3 form of the verb v3 form of the verb so what is the sentence given do not carry it home do not carry it home let it not be carried home clear so now let us take another example do not open the door do not open the door same with the help of your structure let us try to write let the door not be opened i think you are following next throw the ball what is the negative for that do not what is the negative for that do not throw the ball do not throw the ball clear so now you are passive structure will be let the ball not b what is v3 form for throw throw through thrown what is spelling t h r o w n i think now you understood how a passive sentence look how a passive sentence look in active form now i think you understood how a passive sentence look in active form and next in the first structure how to change that into passive form active you know in passive also you learned suppose if the active sentence is a negative one all are imperatives only don't get confused all are imperatives only suppose an imperative sentence in active form is negative how to convert into passive form you learned so now in another lesson we learn how to convert an imperative sentence in active form into passive form of second structure for structure we learned now second structure we learn in our next lesson till then have a nice day 
एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो